The FAA's Part 107 exam is a critical milestone for aspiring commercial drone pilots. It's a comprehensive test that covers a wide range of topics, from airspace classification to weather patterns, and requires a deep understanding of drone regulations. With only 48 hours left before the exam, time management and strategic study become crucial. Today, we'll outline the most effective method for utilizing the final hours to ensure a thorough understanding and recall of the material without causing burnout, leading to success on exam day. Before we begin, make sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons so we can continue to provide you with more drone-related content. All right, our first piece of advice, review, don't cram. With 48 hours left, it's time to review rather than attempt to learn new material. Cramming can lead to confusion and burnout. Focus on revisiting the topics you've already studied. This is the time to reinforce your understanding and recall of key concepts, regulations, and operational procedures. Number two, prioritize weak areas. Identify areas where your understanding is weakest. Everyone has strengths and weaknesses in their knowledge base. Use this time to reinforce those weaker areas. If particular topics, such as weather patterns or airspace regulations, have been constantly challenging, devote more time to these sections. Number three, practice with mock exams. Taking practice exams is one of the most effective ways to prepare. They not only familiarize you with the format and style of questions, but also help in identifying areas that need more attention. Simulate exam conditions by timing yourself and completing the practice exams without referring to notes. This will also help reduce anxiety and build confidence. Our Part 107 course includes five practice exams that most students find are extremely similar to the actual test. Number four, study actively, not passively. Active studying techniques, such as writing summaries of each topic, creating flashcards, or teaching the material to someone else can significantly enhance recall. This is far more effective than passive reading or watching videos. The act of producing materials in your own words helps consolidate your understanding. You'll find flashcards in our course along with the exams to help you study actively. Number five, use mnemonics and memory aids. Mnemonics are a powerful tool, especially for memorizing regulations and operational procedures. Creating acronyms or phrases that link to specific concepts can aid in quick recall during the exam. This technique is particularly useful for remembering lists or sequences. Number six, rest and sleep well. It's tempting to pull all-nighters, but adequate rest is crucial. Sleep plays a key role in memory consolidation. A well-rested mind is more efficient in processing and recalling information. Ensure you get a good night's sleep before the exam day to function at your best. Number seven, balanced nutrition and hydration. Maintain a balanced diet and stay hydrated. The brain needs fuel to function optimally. Avoid heavy, greasy foods that can make you feel lethargic and maintain a steady intake of water. Light, nutritious meals can keep energy levels stable. Number eight, take breaks and manage stress. Continuous studying can lead to fatigue and diminished returns. Take short, regular breaks to rest your mind. Techniques such as meditation, light exercise, or even a short walk outside can help manage stress and keep you focused. Number nine, organize exam day logistics. Prepare for the logistics of the exam day in advance. Know your exam center location, the time of your exam, and what you need to bring. Ensure all necessary documents, identification, and materials are ready. Avoid last minute rushes. This will help you remain calm and in a good state of mind. Number 10, a final quick review session. On the day before the exam, conduct a final quick review. This should not be intensive, but rather a brief run through of your notes or flashcards. The aim is to keep the information fresh in your mind. Number 11, set a positive mindset and maintain a positive attitude. Confidence plays a key role in performance. Remind yourself of the hard work you've put into preparing for the exam and trust in your abilities to succeed. The final 48 hours before taking the Part 107 exam are crucial and should be utilized effectively. Focusing on review rather than new learning, prioritizing weak areas, practicing with mock exams, employing active study techniques, and using memory aids are key strategies. Equally important are maintaining physical and mental well-being, organizing logistics, conducting a final review, and setting a positive mindset. 
This balanced approach will ensure you are well prepared, confident, and ready to succeed in the Part 107 exam, paving the way for a successful career in commercial drone operations. We hope you enjoyed today's video. From all of us at Altitude University, stay safe out there and happy flying.